Do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. But rather be afraid of him who can destroy both body and soul in hell. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. My dearly beloved brethren, these are the words of Christ himself. He was speaking the truth. How many of you would deny Christ? How many of you, like Peter, would stand up and say, I know not the man. But you can lie without saying a word. You can lie without moving your lips. You can lie by silence. Five weeks ago in this parish, a man was murdered. He was brutally beaten to death. And for five weeks, the police investigated. Not one single person came forward to assist them. Everywhere they turned, they were met by a silence, a silence of the most frightful and diabolical kind, the silence of the lie. In God's name, I beg you, I implore you, if any of you know anything, to come forward and to speak without fear. This is a parish in which you understand hunger. Well, there are many types of hunger. There's hunger for food, a natural hunger. There's hunger for the flesh, a natural understandable hunger. There's hunger for love, for home, for children. These things are good. They are good because they are necessary. But then there is hunger for the land. And in this parish, you, like your fathers before you, knew what it was like to starve because you did not own your own land. And that has increased, this unappeasable hunger for the land. But how far are you prepared to go to satisfy this hunger? Are you prepared to go to the point of robbery? Are you prepared to go to the point of murder? Would you kill for land? Did this man die for land? Did this man give up his life's blood for a field? If so, that field will be a field of blood and will be paid for in 30 pieces of silver, the same as Christ's betrayal. And by your silence, you will share in that betrayal. Among you, there is a murderer. Some of you might know him. Some of you might have seen him commit this terrible crime. And by your silence, you share in his guilt. And your children will grow up in the shadow of that terrible crime. And you will carry that guilt with you to your maker on that final judgment day. If you're afraid to go to the police, then come to your priest, or come to me. And if there's one man, one man among you, one man made in Christ's likeness, then he will stand up and say, there he is, there is the murderer. And that man will have acknowledged Christ before men, and Christ will acknowledge him before his Father in heaven. But if by your silence you deny Christ, he will disown you in heaven. And I, as his representative, will have a solemn duty to perform. I will place this parish under interdict, and there will be a silence more terrible than the first. The church bell will be silent, the mass bell will not be heard, the voice of the confessional will be stilled, and in your last moments will be the most terrifying silence of them all, for you will go and meet your maker without the last sacraments on your lips, and all because of your silence now. I beg of you to speak before it's too late. I am the way, says Christ, and the truth. Do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul, but rather be afraid of him who can destroy both body and soul in hell. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. <coughs>